morning and we shall now start the program for the 26th Health Service Anniversary Celebration. Please remain standing. Please remain standing for the interfaith prayer by Police Colonel Arnulfo Castillo, Police Colonel Ebra Moxier, and Police Captain Fulgencio Canyon of the BNP Chaplain Service. Uh, children of God, loving Father, God of all times and ages, all that is and all that is yet to be, as we gather today to celebrate the 26th anniversary celebration of the PNP Health Service, heralding the theme 26 years of caring for those who care and protect, we praise and thank you for all your blessings of the past, for your love, your grace, your presence in the lives and careers of these police health care providers. Continue to bless them in all their endeavors. Bless to our beloved uh, Chief PNP, Police General Oscar David Albayaldi, for his general support in ensuring the health security of all PNP personnel and the discipline that goes with it through internal cleansing. In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful, you are the Almighty One, who alone ran the free for safety service and perseverance. As we gather in this celebration, of the health service anniversary. Likewise, for the descendants of the people, grant us your forgiveness and mercy. We have indeed wronged our soul. Transfer us with your grace that we may work with you in purity, with integrity. O God, guide us not to fall into temptation and may your peace be upon us that we may receive in you in all the way. O oh Lord, we offer to you ourselves, as you have called us to live in holiness and righteousness. We pray that you will continue to bless the Ministry of the Health Service in the Philippine National Police. They are your servants who give us hope in times of despair, love in times of hatred, faith in times of disbelief. O Lord, o Lord in union of our prayers, prayers, we entrust them to you and always to pray, pray in your mantle of grace and divinity. Amen.
to deliver his welcome remarks, may we call on Police Brigadier General John Lublu, Director, Health Service. To our guests of honor and speaker, our beloved Chief of the Philippine National Police, Police General Oscar David Ambelso, Police Major General Lyndon Cobos, the Director of Personnel and Records Management, sir. Senior Officers, our guests and awardees, Police Commissioned Officers, Police Non-Commissioned non -commissioned Officers, Non-Uniform Personnel, may acknowledge also the presence of pupils from uh, private elementary school for the uh, dental uh, check-up Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome and thank you for coming to this momentous event, the awarding and conduct of a half-day health clinic as part of several activities in celebrating the anniversary of health service. Why this medical mission in Camp Krabi? Our intention here is to showcase an activity, a healthcare program evaluated by the Center for Police Strategy Management as a best practice so that other regional health services will follow suit. This is Oplan Tokhang Kalusugan, or Enhanced Monitoring of Police Overall Wellness conceptualized by Colonel Jezebel Medina of Regional Health Service 3. The project basically consists of profiling our personnel into P2, or physically fit, and P3, or with medical conditions like hypercholesterol, hypertension, and diabetes, and providing treatment, disease management, education, follow-up checkups and monitoring. Underlying the success of the project is the active participation of the Department of Health and its regional offices and retained hospitals for free supply of medicines, especially for maintenance, proper medical assessment, and long-term management. To demonstrate the excellent collab collaboration between our regional health service three and DOH retained hospitals. Doctors and other medical practitioners from Jose B. Lingan Memorial Regional Hospital, Dr. Pauline J. Garcia Memorial Research and Medical Center, and Bataan General Hospital have joined us in this clinic. They have even brought their mobile laboratory and some equipment, and they came in full force. We can even tap the generosity of pharmaceutical companies. For today's affair, Unilab is donating 4,000 boxes of vitamins, and Colgate provided dental kits for pupils at Krabi Elementary School. This is the kind and level of partnership that we hope to develop and nurture in the different regions. It is just a matter of initiative and lots of legwork. I am pleased to inform our chief PMD that the roadmates or the robust neuropsychiatry medical and dental screening was launched in PRO 11 last July 7. And, and for the information of everybody, this roadmates was one of the projects of chief PMP when he was the regional director of NCRPO. Under this project, the names of the applicants are barcoded to ensure the integrity of the screening process and its results. We assure our chief PMP that we will, we will be fully implementing the roadmates during the next cycle of recruitment nationwide. By these programs, I am encouraging our regional chiefs to imitate and conceptualize other healthcare projects for the benefit of our personnel. At the PNP General Hospital, we have undertaken several projects to enhance our services 
and we will continue to do so. We assure our Chief PMP that the health service is in a better shape than when we assumed our post. To our, our awardees, congratulations. Let us maintain our dedication and continue caring for those who serve and protect. And to our benefactors, our profound gratitude for your untiring support and contributions. Again, welcome. Thank you very much, sir. This year, the 26th anniversary celebration is anchored on the theme 26 years of caring for those who serve and protect. The celebration is highlighted by the presentation of awards to distinguished personnel and units of the health service as a fitting reward to the exemplary services they have rendered. And to present the award is Police General Oscar David Albayalde, the Chief of the Philippine National Police, to be assisted by Police Major General Lyndon Kubos, the Director for Personnel and Records Management, Police Brigadier General John Regional Health Service III. The award will be received by Police Colonel Jezebel Medina, Chief RHS III. Thank you very much. Best situation is awarded to Police Colonel Luis Jose Bautista, former Chief Regional Health Service and CRPO. Thank you very much. Best Senior Awarded to Police Lieutenant Colonel Mark Padrelana, Chief Nurse, Regional Health Service Lead. Thank you very much. Best Junior Police is awarded to Police Major Rogelio Cavida Jr., Chief Admin Section, Regional Health Service 2. Thank you very much. Best Junior Police for the Best Junior Police Commissioned Officer for Operations is awarded to Police Major Arnold Panganiban, Chief Operations Section, Plans Operation and PCR Division, Health Service. Thank you, sir. Best student Police Master Sergeant Cheryl Baita, OICPNCO in the Pan Provincial Health Office. Police Staff Sergeant Jordan Coliado, Action PNCO Plans and Operations Section, PNP General Hospital. Mm -hmm. Received by Police Colonel Marisa Soriano, Chief RHS 7. Thank you, Mom. For the special awardees. And the award will be received by Police Colonel Jezebel Medina, Chief RHS 3, and Police Master Sergeant Cheryl Baita. Thank you very much. Lack of Appreciation and Police Savings and Loan Association Incorporated or Upslide. The award will be received by Police or Major General Emeraldo Magnani.
lack of appreciation is also the Hino Garcia Memorial Research and Medical Center and the award will be received by Dr. Huberto Lapus. Lack of appreciation of the Armed General Hospital and Medical Center and the award will be received by Dr. Alfonso Danak. Lack of appreciation is Ben Lingad Memorial Regional Hospital and the award will be received by Dr. Monserrat Chichioko. Lack of to Department of Health Regional Office 3 and the award will be received by Dr. Leilani Makulamlan. Appreciation is of Calabar Zone. The award will be received by Dr. Edwina Go, Regional Oral Health Manager. Plot of Appreciation is also received by University, and the award will be received by Dr. Arturo De Leon, Dean College of Dentistry. Thank you. Also presented to Colgate Palmolive in Philippines and the award will be received by Dr. Angel David II, Head Professional Oral Care. Thank you very much. And thank you very much, sir. Again, a round of applause to our awardees. And please be seated. To give his message in today's celebration is the Chief of the Philippine National Police, Police General Oscar David Albayalte. and our visitors this morning. The uh, Director of uh, DPRM, Major General Liberal Pumusto. The uh, PNP uh, Health Service Commando, headed by their Director, Police Brigadier General John Luglu. Of course, the Deputy uh, Director, Colonel uh, Avila and the uh, Chief Directorial Staff of the uh, Health Service, Colonel uh, Ferdinand uh, Matilidrejo. We also have here the Director of uh, the PNP Training Service, Brigadier General uh, Albrecht Corpus. Also the Director of the Finance Service, Brigadier General Giorgio Veracruz. And the Director of the Headquarters Support Group, Brigadier General Dennis Masqui. All the other senior officers, of course, the awardees this morning, our stakeholders and sponsors, and staff from the Department of Health, men and women of the Philippine National Police, friends from the media, ladies and gentlemen, magandang magandang umaga po sa inyo lahat. Let me first extend my warm greetings to the men and women of the PNP Health Service on your 26th anniversary celebration. I thank the very hard-working director, Police Brigadier General John Lugno, for the invitation to keynote this affair and for putting together this truly meaningful celebration highlighted by the conduct of medical, dental, and other community services for our personnel and their dependents. The health service plays a key role in the lives of our PNP members. From the time a police recruit enters the service, among the first things he has to comply with is the health screening process. 
Mula sa pagpasok natin sa serbisyo, sinisiguro na ng health service na nasa mabuting kalusugan ang bawat isa sa atin. At ito ay magpapatuloy habang nasa serbisyo tayo. I must say that we are fortunate to have this health care benefit. Kaya lubos ang pasasalamat natin sa mga miyembro ng health service na patuloy na nag-aalaga sa atin sa at sa ating mga dependents. Today's celebration highlights the importance of good health, not only of PNP personnel, but of our dependents and the members of the community that we serve. More than the best arms and equipment that are provided to us in the performance of our duties, a healthy and strong body is perhaps our best resource in effectively and capably carrying our functions. Ang malakas at malusog na pangangatawan ang kaagapay natin sa masigasig at epektibong pagpapatupad ng batas. Kaya napakahalaga ang tungkulin ng health service. Our doctors, dentists, nurses, and healthcare staff play a crucial role in the PNP while the rest of us make sure that our operational equipment, facilities, and capabilities are in good working condition. They make sure that our personnel are in good shape to withstand the physical and mental rigors of police wards. As PNP Chief, I lead the men and women of the police service in extending to our health service personnel our deep gratitude and appreciation for the good work that you do in taking care of us for the duration of our service. You have achieved meaningful milestones over the years as you endeavored to provide the best health care services, not only to our personnel and their dependents, but to the community as well. I take this opportunity to cite one of your best practices, specifically in the Region 3 Health Service, where your so-called enhanced monitoring of police overall wellness, Oplan Tukhang Kalusugan, was conceptualized in 2017 and is now being effectively implemented. I understand that this program has three components. First, the proper assessment of profiled personnel diagnosed with the top three diseases, namely hypertension, hypercholesterol, and diabetes mellitus. Second, time intervention through non-pharma ecological management health service lectures and seminars, and drug therapy. And third, consistent monitoring and long-term disease management. Napakaganda ng programang ito dahil nabibigyan ng kawakulang long-term medical attention ang ating mga miyembro sa Philippine National Police. Poplang Tokhang Kalusugan hopes to achieve a healthy police force that is responsive to the demands of the job, to save on economic cost of caring for sick police personnel and reduce hospitalization and hospital reimbursements and to prevent disability and lengthen the service of every PNP member. With the prevalence of what we call lifestyle diseases, like the top three that have been mentioned, we need the kind of close and active monitoring that is now being done by the Regional Health Service of PRO3 to PNP members in their region. It is also worth noting that PRO3 has been implementing this program in partnership with other health agencies in the region with no budgetary requirements from the PNP because medicines and medical staff are provided by the Department of Health. Given this, I join the rest of our regional health service units nationwide to replicate this best practice in your respective areas. Let us work harder to keep our personnel aware of the importance of maintaining good health in order to be better law enforcers and public servants. Human resource is our most important resource and it is imperative that every member of our organization is always in the best of health. Hindi lang ito para sa sampayan ng ating pinaglilingkuran, kundi para sa ating mga pamilya na umaasa sa atin. In the meantime, 
Let us all enjoy today's celebration. I am happy to see that today's activities include the conduct of medical and dental services to our personnel and a community outreach program for the grade 3 and 4 pupils at the Camp Rame Elementary School. To the PNP Health Service, maraming salamat and happy anniversary. Mabuhay. Thank you very much, sir. Kindly be seated. And at this point, the director will present a memento to the Chief of the Philippine National Police. The memento is a trauma kit meant to deal with major injuries, typically life-threatening, and to keep someone alive until an expert medical care can be reached. Thank you very much, sir. At magsitayong po tayong lahat. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the program for the 26th Health Service Anniversary Celebration. Thank you for joining us. And we are requesting our guest of honor and speaker, sir, to, to indulge us with a photo opportunity together with the awardees.